Okay, embedding on a page. Let's see. Go to the video, right click, copy embed code, back to my page, switch to HTML, paste it in. That's simple. Let's add it to my home page. Ah! Hi, first got a minute for School G. I'm Dr. Phil Pulley. Sorry to go full Edvard Munch or Home Alone, if you will, on you, but it can be a little intimidating to embed in things in HTML in Schoology if you're like me and not really good at HTML. So again, that was pretty simple to go over here, right click, get my embed code. You can get embed codes for lots of things. And I come over here and I switch to HTML and I pasted that in. Okay, going back to the visual, you can see this iframe that shows me that is going to be there. Now, if I come over here to my regular page and switch to this HTML, I don't know where I want this to go to fit in there. Okay, so the easiest way for me to do it is this. I'm going to switch to the visual. I'm going to put my cursor where I want the item to go. Go to our good old friend, insert content. Image media, okay, from the web, media. I know a lot of clicks, but all I have to do is paste the code in here, say insert media, and it's going to show up right now, right above where that Google Doc was embedded in there also. Now, I'm going to actually quickly delete this and show you a couple of other things you can do when you're putting this in. Going back in again to show you the steps, it's insert content, image media, from the web, media, paste. So things are in there, like it allows full screen. I can tell what that says. It's an iframe. I know what that is. If I come over here though, I'm gonna see my height and width are huge. I'm gonna take this down to 720 by 405 because I've memorized those and find that when I insert that media now, this box is much smaller, but a good size I found for my students and their devices. If I don't wanna do it there, I can also click on the iframe box once I have it in there. This X makes it go away, not that one. This little box here, I can now change those dimensions and it also has a constraint dimension. So if I went to 720, it's going to select 405 to make it fit that proper ratio. Forgot a minute for Schoology, embedding in Schoology pages and elsewhere, I'm Dr. Phil Pulley.